Hello everybody and welcome back to The Long Dark. In this episode I'm going to finish clearing out the dam of all the supplies. I went ahead and cleared out this little room. It wasn't really much. I found a second rifle but it was 22%. It was just heavy so I just went ahead and harvested it. I'm leaving some stuff here. Firewood and clothing and stuff like that just so I can have somewhat of uh, not being weighed down. We're still 91 pounds out of 66 so we're still encumbered. But uh, hopefully it won't weigh us down too much. And whatever we don't need, we're going to try to drop. We are going to need to eat some food. So we can eat some wolf meat, which is, you know, pretty heavy. And uh, we'll help out. Then we can drink some water, which should lower the, the overall weight just a little bit. Just to try to help us out. Still can't run. Still too heavy to run. So that's unfortunate. But all we have to do is just finish clearing out the dam of everything that we're going to need. And then we can continue our journey. But we're pretty much done with the dam. That was it. We got everything that we could need. There's not as much as I thought there was. Right, we're, so we're going to sleep through the night. Get nice and rested. Then we'll pick up all our shit in the morning. And we'll start our trip. And see how long it's going to take. Um, weather really needs to help us here. Just because we can't be outside for as long as we could. So weather is definitely going to have to help us out a little bit and be nice we'll see uh if it's not then we're gonna run into some problems i just got over the hypothermia that we had in the last episode there's a knife on the ground that i walked over worth grabbing i have about four knives now don't really know what i'm gonna do with them all but i have them so yeah we can't stay outside i just got over the hypothermia we got at the end of the last episode i really don't want to get it again just because it's it's such a pain to get rid of. And it lasts so long and it's just so hard to get your condition up once you've uh, never gone through this door. Just never do it. Okay? Trust me. Um, but yeah, so... It's just, it's, it's hard to get the condition back up. It doesn't really go up when you have hypothermia. You kind of just deal with it until it's gone. So it's pretty unfortunate, but... Hopefully we won't get in hypothermia again. I'm really, you know, trying to see if we uh, can avoid that. But again, it all plays into the weather. The weather is going to be the biggest part. And because we're going to be going so slow, because we're so encumbered, it's going to take us a little bit longer. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be risky. It's a long journey. It really is. And it's going to be risky. So let's go ahead and just sleep through the night. So this should be plenty of time. We gotta pick up all this stuff. All this stuff. Absolutely everything, which is a lot of stuff. Lots of firewood, lots of scrap metal, lots of cloth. And let's just check really quickly. We're 119 pounds out of 66, and this is the fastest we can move. I'm sorry, this is just not gonna work. We're gonna have to get rid of some stuff. Everything else is just light enough that it's okay to carry with us. We do have a lot of food on us, so that is definitely weighing us down. But we're at 107 pounds now. Uh, can I get some sort of a light? Here we, here we go. We got some speed in us. It's not much, but it's some. It just sucks. I don't like leaving extra tools behind. Um, we, need, we do need to find a sharpening stone. So then we can sharpen our hatchet and knife and everything. We have a rifle cleaning kit, I believe. So as long as we can find that, our, we, we can also make a knife too. If it gets to the point where we're making arrowheads and we don't have a knife or a hatchet or something, we can go to the, uh, we can go to Desolation Point and cook one up in the, the furnace. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things are going. We also need to find a, a hacksaw around here somewhere. We can start cutting up some of the uh, start cutting up some of the uh, metal that we see. Oh, here's our rifle bullet. Almost forgot that. That would have sucked. All right, real quick. Just go ahead and refill our lantern here. Hopefully, get some of the weight of this fuel we just picked up off. That fuel is going to need to be left behind. Oh, and it's, like, pretty full, too. But it's six pounds. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. I'm sorry. I might come back. <laughs> Who knows? But 
It's just, it's going to take us too long. If we have to carry all that stuff around with us, it's going to take us too long. And if we get caught in bad weather moving at the speed that we're moving, we're dead. There's no, there's no getting out of it. So, unfortunately, there's some things that you do end up having to leave behind. But, at least we're moving. And we're getting out of here. And we're leaving Mystery Lake. And we're heading off. And we will be showing up in uh, the Coastal Highway soon, hopefully. So, I'm going to go ahead and just make the trip over there. Just because we've done it before. You've seen what the scenery looks like. Maybe I'll even speed it up for the people that haven't seen it. But I'm just going to make this go a lot quicker than it would be in real life. And uh, I will join back up with you guys once we get into the Coastal Highway. This isn't good. This is not good. So, I just shot a deer because he was kind of glitched and then there was a perfect moment to get another deer hide. So I took it and in the 50 minutes it took for me to get the deer hide, we uh, ran into some bad weather. Uh, I would say extremely bad weather. And we can't run and uh, it's looking pretty bad. We are not in a good situation here. We need to eat some food. Uh, just go ahead and eat whatever we can open. Yeah, this isn't going to be good. We're going to we're gonna run into some issues here, I can tell. Just because it's so windy, we don't have good clothing. You know, we can't run. Not good. I think another... I don't want to say another animal harvesting another animal has killed me but it's put me in a bad position it was just it was a nice day out the deer was just sitting there not moving so i was like well i'll kill it and get the hide from it since it's just kind of glitched into a rock and i can't quite figure out the way i need to go can't quite see where i'm going i'm looking for the crossing and i'm not sure where it's at Yeah, it's bad out here. This is going to be a problem. Is this it? Is this a crossing? I'm honestly not sure. This doesn't seem right. Could be. I can't tell. Oh, I think it is. Yep. Okay, this is the crossing. Good, I'm glad we found this. I mean, at least we found something. But uh, we're getting pretty cold. But we need to we need to hurry this up. And I am going to spend the time to search this corpse because you never know what you're going to find. Absolutely nothing. Search the backpack. What am I going to find? Absolutely nothing. Okay, cool. Cool. That's what you're going to find. You're going to find nothing. Ah, and there's no places around here. There's no buildings or anything. So we just have to kind of keep pushing on. Ah, this is not a good situation. Because our condition is dropping pretty quickly. We're pretty cold. I don't know. I'm trying to think here about what we want to do. And we can't really hunker down and do anything. Make a fire. It's not really going to last in weather like this. It might not really even help us out. It might just make us sit out in the cold even longer. I mean, the only, the only hope that I have right now is the fact that if I keep going, we'll get to the point where either the weather's going to lighten up or we're going to make it through the ravine and we're going to get into the coastal highway and it's not going to be that bad of weather. But I honestly don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to keep pushing on and uh, hopefully we'll make it to the coastal highway.
Okay, we are now in the coastal highway. Unfortunately, it seems like the weather isn't much better over here. And uh, we are at 47% and declining quickly on our condition. So, there's no real area for us to bunker down anywhere. Uh, like I said, I don't think a fire is going to do it out here. I think it's just going to go out pretty quickly. So, I don't know. We're just, we're, we're going to have to just keep pushing on until we can find the first, uh, I'm trying to think here about where the first location is to a house or something. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering the coastal highway or at least the entrance to it, how far this, uh, this, uh, railroad track goes and get, we, we got to get to the road. If we can get to the road. We can find a house. We can chill out. We can, we can relax in the house, but I just can't quite remember where we needed to go and it's not looking good out here. I think we're going to stumble across some uh, little cabins. So if we if we do, we're going to stop in the in the little work cabins or whatever they're called, those little work shacks that I'm pretty sure are up here. And we're just going to ride out this storm because uh, if we're going to be out here for much longer, we're going to die. That's pretty much it because our condition is just constantly going down. We're we're not dressed for weather like this. God damn. Um, and now we have hypothermia again. So I cannot get away from hypothermia. This is unbelievable. <laughs> We've had hypothermia three times in this game. We've been alive for, what, five days? I'm pretty sure there's a cabin up here somewhere. If not, that's the way we go down. I'm starting to remember now. I'm not seeing one. Is there a cabin over here? I, I, I know there was some near the entrance. I don't know. We need to get inside somewhere, though. Like, really bad. Oh, God. This situation is getting worse and worse. Uh, I'm not really sure... I think the cabins might have been up there. I think I was wrong. I think I walked right past them. Or I didn't go far enough. It's hard to see. You can't see that far. Now that we have hypothermia, the condition is just going down really quick. There's got to be a... Ca I swear there was another little cabin around here somewhere. Oh, man. This is not good. This is a bad storm. Okay, I think we go down this way, right? Or do we cross a bridge? We might have to cross a bridge. I'm really not sure. Landmarks that I typically would be looking for, I cannot see. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. What is that? What is that thing in the, right there? Is it a sign? No. No, it's just a... Oh, it's a stump. Okay. Couldn't really tell, to be honest. Do I see a cabin down there? Anything? Oh, there is a cabin. There's a cabin. Go for it. Go. This is what we need. Just get us inside, please. Oh. Oh. Boy. Oh my god. Well, we're stuck in a trailer. Uh, with a dead body. So, this guy probably had the same situation. Got caught out in the storm. Oh man. I thought those winds in the last episode were bad. No. This storm is pretty bad. So, I think I'm going to hold out in here. Until this storm's done. Because I need to work on my condition. I need to warm up. I also need to take care of this uh, hypothermia I have now. And I need to clean up my inventory a little bit. And uh, we need to start focusing on how we're going to get to the uh, the gas station to set up our camp. So I'm going to stay here and I'm going to end this episode. And we'll start off the next episode in this trailer. And hopefully a lot of the things that are going bad will be fixed in terms of being out of the storm and then not having hypothermia. And we should be able to walk ourselves to the gas station. But uh We'll see, but I'm going to camp out in here tonight, let this storm pass, and uh, we'll pick it up next time. But 
Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.